Hey SB gang, it's me Bella the Stick and Butter Gal. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm wearing this shirt because first of all, it's the holidays. <laughs> and also I am making a Chinese cooking recipe video tonight. So I thought I would wear my Chinese inspired shirt. It's gorgeous. Like it's seriously, the detailing is so pretty. I love that there's these uh, embroidered stripes on the hems and the flowers are gorgeous and there's like goldfish and uh, roses or i don't even know if that's lotus flowers i just really like this shirt look at that beautiful fish over there it looks delicious <laughs> so today i'm super excited to be introducing and showing you guys how to make my mama's meatball egg drop soup that's the official name today i want to make something really fancy and feel like i'm treating myself so my mama's meatball egg drop soup will do the trick i just know in chinese it's called rou wan zi dan hua tang one more time rou wan zi dan hua tang so translated meatball egg drop soup but really the egg drop in chinese it's like egg flour soup and you'll see why because the way that my mom does the egg drop it actually looks like this gorgeous delicate flour once it's in the soup so for the ingredients i just want to talk a little bit about it we're gonna need some type of meat now this is where you can really get creative you don't have to go to the grocery store and buy already grind up meat. You don't have to buy that. You can actually use a whole cut, a whole chop of fresh meat and grind it up yourself. Actually, my mom prefers to do that. She doesn't use a grinding machine. She uses her hands and that's kind of like the traditional way, homemade meatballs by using a whole fresh cut of meat my mom when i was growing up she would always use a fresh cut of beef or pork she prefers to use pork or beef and she uses a whole cleaver knife that big ass cleaver knife and she uses that to chop the hell out of the meat so that it's almost like a minced sticky paste and honestly if you want to do that you would probably have the best results. You would probably have the chewiest, most tender and juicy meatballs possible. But, but because I'm Bella the Steak and Butter Gal and I'm lazy and I don't want to spend that much time in the kitchen, I'm gonna show you guys the easiest, simplest way. But don't worry, I will be including my mama's way uh, at the very end and she will show you guys how she does it step by step, including like traditional uh, sauces and seasonings that she likes to add into the soup. But as you all know, I'm gonna be adding zero seasonings, zero salt, zero flavorings, zero plant toxins, just beef, just eggs and water. I'm going to be using ground beef, already ground up from Whole Foods. 80-20 is the ratio, 80% lean, 20% fat. That's just my go-to ground beef for any recipe. And for the egg drop part, you're going to be needing eggs. And my favorite is Vital Farms. That's what I have in the fridge, so I'll be using Vital Farms. So I hope you guys can watch this whole video. And if you're interested in my mom's technique, which is obviously very valuable to watch, you can watch at the very end. I'll include that whole video where my mom cooks for all of you guys. So another special announcement. If you have been following me on Instagram, watching my stories, my posts, and my recent YouTube videos, I mentioned that I am in the works of creating a private support group type of system where you can join and everyone involved can help each other stay accountable, help support each other, inspire each other. That support group is now live. You can now join. Yes, it is private, but it is completely free. And once you're in, you're officially in and you get 
everything available. All of the posts, the tips, the questions, the answers. I'm in that group as well, supporting all of you guys, just making sure there is zero judgment, just love and support. And honestly, so far, so great. Everyone in that group is so, so supportive and so curious to learn and so generous to give knowledge and tips and advice. I'm just so amazed and so impressed by all of the posts going on in there, the info being shared. So this is not on Facebook for a reason. I decided to not do a private Facebook group because I wanted it to be off social media. I really wanted to create this safe place, almost a safe haven for the carnivores who need the support, um, where it's off social media, there's no distractions, you know, of random cat videos. It's just about carnivore content, carnivore support, carnivore inspo. So if you would like to join, please go to the description box below and I will have included a link to the Steak and Butter Gang meeting place, the official place for all of you Steak and Butter Gang people to meet up, to talk about carnivore stuff, just to be around like-minded people like us. Anyways, done with the announcement. Let's start cooking. Okay, so we want to first start off by boiling a pot of water. Now, this is also where you can get creative, guys. Instead of pure water, you guys can also feel free to use broth. However, I'm trying to make it as minimal and simple as possible just to show you how easy it can be. So I'm going to be using water, boiling this up while I prepare the meatballs and the egg drop part of the recipe. Alrighty, so now we're going to do the meatballs. This is just my meat of choice. Firstly, I bought it already ground up because um, I'm lazy. And this is from Whole Foods. This is the ground beef I always get, plus I got it on sale. So this is just a small part of like 10 pounds of ground beef that I got in bulk because it was like $3.50 per pound when it was on sale. So it looks a little bit brown because I took it out of the freezer and thawed it. I always keep bulk meat in the freezer, always, to maintain the freshness. So I took out a bit and thawed it, therefore it lost its color a little bit. 0.75 pounds, three fourths of a pound of ground beef. So what we're gonna do with this much meat, we're going to add one single egg to this ground beef mixture. And what this does, it, it acts as a binding agent. It's gonna make sure that the ground beef doesn't fall apart once we drop it in the hot water or the hot broth, whatever you're using. This makes sure that the ground beef stays round and in ball form, keeps all of the juiciness and the tenderness inside of the meatball. But we're gonna use just one. Just one is enough. Dun, dun, dun. As you can see, we drop in one of the eggs. So if you want to use your hands, feel free to. If you just wanna use like a blender, you could use a blender for sure. Uh, you could use a, uh, I don't know what else you can use, like a knife or a spatula to mix it all up. But this just makes sure that I can really feel the juiciness of the meat. I love hands-on cooking, you know? <laughs> Look at that. Very, very good. So my mom, she definitely uses the huge knife. She likes to ground up the meat by herself by hand on her Chinese chopping board. So like all night long, I'll be hearing the loudest chopping sounds of her knife banging against the chopping board. I mean, I'm not complaining because she always comes up with the most delicious meals. I just remember my mom is just everything she likes to do from scratch. She doesn't really like to, you know, buy store made stuff. She likes to do everything from scratch. So I learn a lot of good tips and tricks um, for in the kitchen from her. I mean, you guys can all thank her for her amazing egg pudding recipe. Two eggs for the egg drop. Obviously, if you want to be serving multiple people, you could multiply the amount of meat and the amount of eggs for the egg drop flour. But I'm going to keep it to two eggs. And we're just gonna beat the eggs really quick. 
Once the water gets to a boil, you definitely want to lower the heat before you drop in the meatballs. So here is our meat mixture, and I'm gonna be doing it my mama's way where she just uses a spoon to form the meatballs, and she directly drops it in. And I think that's genius because then we're saving time. We don't have to like pre-form the meat into balls and waste more time and energy. We just use it with a spoon like so and just drop it in the water. Let me just make sure you guys can see. In it goes. It is so cute and so simple and easy. Like, don't waste time and energy on things that you don't have to, right? Especially in the kitchen. Spend it on eating. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Oh, it's already turning into cute meatballs. Ah, so cute. So what I'm doing is just scooping it and kind of pushing it along the bowl that I'm using to kind of shape the ball and I'm just dropping it in. So you really could play around with the ratios, the amounts of water, the amount of meatballs, and of course the number of eggs you use for the egg drop. But after about a minute to two minutes, I see that the meatballs are pretty much cooked through. Now is when we're going to drop in the eggs, the flour. And I'm gonna to try to do it like my mama, but she does it so well, where she just spills it in delicately and it just flowers up. And we're not looking to cook the egg drop part super well. We're gonna turn off the fire once we drop in the eggs. So, are you ready? Look at that gorgeousness. Do you see that? It's so pretty. It just flowers up in the most beautiful way. It's just delicious looking. Egg drop part is just so delicate and floral looking, it's beautiful. So this is my mama's egg drop soup, guys. This is the juicy meatball. And do you see this egg drop part? It's so gorgeous. Now, let me just emphasize that the trick is to not touch the egg drop once you drop it into the soup. You just let it flower up and delicately, lightly cook through. You must turn off the fire actually, right after or even before you drop in the egg drop flour. That way the egg is super delicate, you see? It's almost like um, a flower. It just reminds me of this beautiful egg flour. Look at that. Cute meatballs. And I kind of like how the meatballs are not perfectly shaped. It just goes to show that it's super homemade. <laughs> okay, I gotta give this a go. It smells so good. Okay guys, it is time to try the Zhe Dan Hua Tang meatball egg drop soup. <laughs> As you all know, because I've been making it this whole video. So, I'm gonna try to hold it up so you guys can see. I have it in this cute Asian bowl that, yes, I use this for my egg pudding. All right, let me just first try the actual soup part. And I'm not expecting crazy flavor because this is just pure water that was cooking with the meat and the eggs. Mmm, it has like this delicate, light, beefy flavor from the uh, meatballs. Gorgeous. Now, let's try a whole bite of a meatball with some egg as you can see oh my gosh it smells so good there's no seasoning in this but it still smells really fragrant mm. yo simba that's amazing Oh my God, that is amazing. Mm. It's so delicate in um, texture, like in the mouth, when combined with the chewy, bouncy, juicy meatballs. It's delicious. Okay, let's do a big bite. Because I love my big bites. This is a huge meatball. <laughs> I did very different shapes. Mmm. 
It is so good. Please try it. Great dish for cold winter days or if you're on your period or if you have like a headache or you're feeling under the weather, this is the soup to make. Meatball egg drop soup. I know you guys all love my mom's recipes. This is one of her top recipes, one of my favorites. She always makes this whenever I'm feeling under the weather. Okay, let's, I just can't stop eating it. Mmm, I just can't believe how juicy and decadent the meatballs are. They're not dry, they don't really like lack in flavor, even though I didn't add a single thing besides eggs. Mmm, wow. Okay, I'm gonna go finish the whole pot off camera because I don't want you guys to watch me in gluttony just saying mmm a thousand different ways. But I really hope you guys try this out in your kitchen at home. Feed it to your babies, feed it to your kiddos, your hubby, your wife, your grandma, your grandpa, your mom and dad, your dog and cat. This is the recipe for winter, for holidays. Um, you know, I suspect whenever you need a little extra warmth and coziness with your meal, definitely try this soup. It's easy still, even though you kind of have to add a little bit more prep time for the meatball and the egg mixture. But seriously, if you do my mama's method of the spooning it and dropping it directly into the pot, it's so easy and you just let the heat do all the work. And the very end, it's honestly just like a fun thing to do. You can make this with your kids, like the egg flowering up at the end is so much fun to watch. And then the best part is to just eat it. So please try it and please tag me on Instagram like usual. Tag me at Steak and Butter Gal. And if you love my content, if you love my recipes and videos, you can always support my channel by sharing my videos, my channel, by liking my videos, always. <laughs> leaving a comment, whatever comment you want, um, asking questions down in the comments and subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell and notifications, of course, so you don't miss my future videos. Now, I don't usually mention this, but if you do want to support me further, you can feel free to contribute to my work and my uh, content creation through Patreon or PayPal. So if you would like to gift me with a contribution like that, you can definitely go in my description box, click on those links and contribute there. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Join the SB Gang private group for extra support and guidance and accountability. Uh, and also do make this soup, tag me on Instagram. Anyways, I'm gonna eat dinner now, gonna spend some time with Steak and Butter Guy and Simba. I hope you guys have a wonderful night and a wonderful holiday season. I'm gonna stop doing this. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Bella, the SBG, out.